Salutations! What the fuck is going on? And welcome back to No Effort. Um... What? Hi! Uh, okay, sorry. I wasn't ready to record yet. I was still learning about uh, Project E, which is what we're starting today. We're starting with an alchemical chest and everything. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be lovely, but... I hear a giant explosion run outside to see something. It's a meteor. It's literally a fucking meteor. Yo. Yo, that's cool. Yo, hold on. It's a fucking meteor. Hold on. This is insane. I might have, have I might have to bleep that first F word because YouTube doesn't like swearing in the first 15 seconds. But I was caught so off guard. It's a it's a meteor. I really hope star metals in here. I really hope star metals in this. Can, uh, sir, I'm stuck. Damn trees. Oh my God, it takes a while to break this. Well, we're going to the center of the meteor. Meteorite fragment turns into meteorite blocks. Okay. Oh, okay. That's all, that also makes sense. It's hot. It needs a second to cool down. Uh, we're starting off the episode with a goddamn meteor. Welcome back to no effort. I love this series so fucking much. Oh my god, it's so fun. I don't like that noise. I gotta see what's in this meteor. It might be really awesome. Uh... Also might be nothing. Which would kind of suck. I hope it's something. That'd be pretty cool. But I'm, I'm not sure. I literally was finishing eating dinner and researching how to make the alchemical chest and everything for today's episode of Project E. We're doing Project E in fucking Crazy Craft today. And uh, just a uh, uh, what? Okay, it doesn't look like I'm getting anything much. Oh, but you need this meteorite. Oh, I need this block to build fucking folly star metal. I I have a, a couple things to talk about the HBM mod, by the way, because in between recordings, I learned I learned something, but. We'll leave that. We'll leave that for a little bit later in the episode. Stay tuned if you want to see that. If you're excited for more bullshit crazy craft to warm up your Friday afternoon, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here and just tuned into me looking at a meteorite and freaking out because that's pretty much how this entire series has gone. I've been just overwhelmed every second that I play it, but it's cool. We're here. We're ready. And hey, Google, make office lights red. I hope I didn't change anyone's. Anyone watching this on speed? What? What? What the fuck is that? What is that? It killed the mantis. What is that? It is healing. It looks like I don't want to get near it. I'm just going to mine out this meteorite and collect all the meteorite stuff and just be just a just a nice Nice little wastelander, just just chilling out in in the in in the. Oh god, that thing's huge. He vanished. He, he he's gone. He's just gone. He's just fucking gone. He ate a mantis and left this planet. I I can't I can't handle everything. Ugh, bitch, I hate the person that makes you levitate and start to black out. I'm literally just trying to mine a meteorite. I don't know if I need all of this stuff. I want it. Oh, hello, creeper. 200 health is excessive. Bro. Why? Why are they so strong? Oh my God, my whole game is just shutting down. Okay, anyways, just collecting the meteorite. This is boring. I'll show, I'll, I'll, I'll like talk to you fucks when I'm back. Okay, who greenlit 9,000 fucking lightning bugs to just hang out? I, I mean, they're not hostile, so I can't be mad, but it's, I'm still confused, damn it. I need a shot. Hey, uranium fever, I've got some fucking ore. Uranium fever, uh, that thing s sounds terrifying. With a Geiger counter in my ass, I feel like if I go down, I'm dead as fact. Well, I found some uranium in the meteorite, so this w Oh, I found aluminum. See, guys, this is worth it. We're looking for a metal called star metal, and I'll explain why later. But if we find star metal, it's good. It makes a sword that's better than what I have, and it makes something that personally is cool to me. All right, cool. This is how we're starting no effort, I guess. I'll be back.
So I just got back from mining. That was a little bit of a mining speed up for you guys. So it was good. Um, and I learned something, right? I learned something. The gravity gun dropped as like my first item. And I thought that was pretty cool. But then as I kept mining glowstone specifically, I got tons of stuff. Like this is, this is a defective turret. Why won't you look me in the eyes? This is a gravity gun that is holding the fucking turret. That's so sick. Hello? Wait, did I dupe you? I'm duping it by dropping more turrets. <laughs> what is happening right now? Anyways, uh, regardless, when I was mining specific blocks like glowstone, uh, specifically, I think it only worked with like glowstone, I get cool little special items. Some of them are fucking useless, like purified milk. But the other one is like a freaking ray gun. Whoa! Um. Turns out you don't press the right click button on the freaking ray gun if you value your home. This is knowledge I was not aware of. And yet, here we are. Um, I blew up my house. <laughs> this fucking pack, dude. Look, I'll explain why we need glowstone in a minute, but clearly we've got bigger fish to fry as I have fucked up greatly. Uh, the ray gun is a 50 charge on it, apparently. Good to fucking know. And uh, it's literally explosive. It's literally fucking explosive and I blew up everything I've ever loved. So that's, that's really good. That's really fucking good. Um, I have to rebuild my house now. I will be back. Okay, I put it back together. And I've learned the lesson. Do not fire the ray gun indoors. But uh, this thing's fucking awesome. Literally from Half-Life, you can only pick up... Oh, no, you can pick up anything and just... Bye! <laughs> I have a grab gun. So, okay. Literally getting all these from just mining glowstone feels a little bullshit. Especially if it's like, if we look at, you know, how the hell do you make a gravity gun? Let's find out. Don't worry about the black check part. We'll get there in a second. Uh, yeah, you would need obsidian, a couple ender pro Like, that's not that bad, right? But, like, a freaking ray gun, I don't think you can make. So, like, the only way in this version to have gotten that is to get lucky, and I need it for Big Bertha? Or maybe you get it by killing something? I don't know. So I'm just going to roll with it, and uh, let me know in the comments if uh, that upsets you that you could just exploit the game by doing that, and uh, I'll respond to you by placing a fucking airplane down. Your opinion is invalid. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle this. This is the most insane mod pack ever, and you're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. So if you... If, if you're new to the channel, or if you just aren't very observant, check my profile picture right now. It's a pony. I'll throw it up on screen if I remember. If not, just look, okay, right? That pony is named Blackjack from a series called Fallout Equestria. Um, it's a lovely book. It's great. It's cool. It's basically if you combined MLP with Fallout. And it's cool. It's got a, it, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a nice story, but I'm not here to talk about the story at length. I'm here to talk about what happened yesterday. Well, Wednesday for you guys, but yesterday for me. Uh, that motherfucking... Well, is it yesterday? Yeah, it's about midnight now. That counts. Uh, that motherfucking... <laughs> broadcaster. If I look up Corrupted Broadcaster in here... I'm going on a rant for a bit. I hope you're excited. Uh, this Corrupted Broadcaster is from something called HBM's Nuclear Tech. And I initially thought it was from Fallout. I thought, uh, because in Fallout Equestria, there is a scene with co uh, corrupted broadcasters that used to play like typical radio stations, but then got corrupted with radiation and now give ear piercing, mind melting noises that literally melt your brain and kill you. And that's what happened to me. And I thought there's no way in hell it's that. It's probably 
like there was probably something some time in fallout that that happened we'd already found nuka bottle caps at this point so i know that this is at least a fallout mod right well i ask my best best fallout friend that's what we're calling them yep mm -hmm. yep nope this whiskey feels nice in my tum tum uh i'm gonna drink some more of this. i asked poro who knows so much fallout knowledge if at any point in fallout was there a broadcaster that played a corrupted sound that would hurt you and or kill you and he told me that the most that he could think of was that there was a radio that did that once but it was never called broadcaster and i thought to myself there's no way in hell that this is referencing foe and i went and put it to the test and if you type this in That's my gun. <laughs> and if you need more proof, HBM item dot gun underscore revolver underscore blackjack 44 Magnum bullet name IF 18 horseshoe vanity manufacturer iron shod firearms alcoholism is cool. And then that it doesn't stop there. I could nerd out for forever. But the main protagonist of FOE's name's Little Pip, and there's a bomb named fucking that. If you type in Pip, it gets even crazier. Pip's, this is Pip's gun. There's so much, and I think I'm the only person to have uncovered the fact that, oh my God, fucking, <laughs> it's FOE. There's just tons of fucking Fallout Equestria references in Crazy Craft of all places. What, what? Like, what the hell? I'm, I'm sorry, I needed to touch on that for a minute because I just find that absolutely insane. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to make was the Star Metal Sword, which is also a reference and is actually better than what we have. It gives Stunning 3, which is really good. I want that. Also, Star Metal Chestplate turns into this shit. I need that in my life. Um, and now, with the knowledge that breaking things sometimes... By the way, our portal's a little fucked. I should probably turn that on. Um, breaking things sometimes gives you random stuff like this jet that I fucking have. Like, I, I, I got two jets from this. I got a jet and I got an airplane boat. Can you break it? I don't want it on my lawn anymore. Yeah, okay, you totally can. There you go, there's a fucking jet. There's a fucking jet. I kind of think it fits in like, you know, in, in just the spirit of no effort and, and crazy craft as a whole, I think it's just kind of cool that like at any point, in any episode, whether we're doing something mundane and boring or really fucking interesting, we could just boom, defective turret at any point. Or, oh, I don't understand why he duplicates when you hit him. Is it because he's destined to die? But I now have so many defective turrets. What? He dropped the fucking stair. Is this your corpse? Bro, you know what? You could stand on top. All right, there you go. Decoration. <laughs> I don't know. It's just fucking crazy. I think it fits. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I got this jungle helmet, and I'd like to know what it is. Also, my bed completely gone. My bed is completely missing. I didn't. I didn't find it in the blast. I wasn't able to get any wool, so I don't have a. I don't have a fucking bed anymore because I was the genius that decided I was going to explode my fucking base with a goddamn ray gun. I just this game keeps getting more and more insane and i really didn't even think it could i think the ray gun should be the fucking profile or the the thumbnail either the radium fever is coming got me down uranium fever it's written all around with a geiger counter in my hand i'm killing this minotaur because he sucks ass uranium fever is coming been real crass uranium fever can you die now i don't want to sing a whole nother verse you make horrific noises. <laughs> okay. Frozen netherrack. And he... Oh, yeah, my ruby helmet was off. No wonder I took damage. Uh, I kind of want to see what the ceremonial obsidian helmet does, but it says something about jungle and told me not to put it on, so we're going to at least get uh, another bed first. He's aimed at me, ain't he? Holy shit, that skeleton looks like he's got aim for years. What's with all the lightning bugs? They're everywhere. Fireflies, whatever. Firefly, lightning bug... I grew up in the south. What, what do you want from me? Lightning bug. <laughs> is he down? The, the, the only sheep for a thousand miles is stuck in this pit. Sorry, the only sheeps. There's multiple. Whoa, hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, whoa, hey, another sniper. Fuck off. I need a gun. I need my gun. That's all right. New, like, 
We gotta add a goal to this series, chat. I need to get the blackjack gun. Come on, come on. Everyone that ev everyone knows like that, I, I have to, right? It's me, it's literally me. I'm the problem, it's me. Uh, okay, there we go. Bed. Okay, now that I've slept in my bed, now that everything is good there. Yeah, uh, adding, adding that goal. I need, I need blackjack gun. Cause I mean, I don't want to use my entire ray gun. Anyways, let's find out what this helmet does. Nothing. Oh, well, kind of cool. Okay, well, this has been an episode of a lot of crazy shit, but we, we do have a purpose here. I promise there was a reason for this episode. We need to build the alchemical chest. We need to build the alchemical chest. I need stone, iron, a chest, duh, uh, diamond. Man, if only we had diamond. Uh, I'm gonna need low covalence, medium, and high covalence dust. So we need to make one charcoal, which I think I've already been cooking. Yep. See, this is what I was doing right before, like I was prepping how to get all this done right before literally a meteorite fell from the fucking sky. Uh, lamb chop. How is this raw? Wait, we just get a lot of lamb. My god. It's fine. We'll eat lamb. Lamb's good food. Lamb's good eating. That works for me. And, uh, let me go grab some cobblestone. See, we do EMC now. That way I don't have to just, you know, go mine for cobblestone a lot later. We'll just have a lot of EMC and I could duplicate cobblestone with the power of the sun. Which is literally what EMC is and Project E is. You're, you're about to find out if you don't know already. Uh, but we need the the most expensive stuff would be making these covalence dusts and it's just diamond It's just iron. It's just coal Luckily having our jump start on that many diamond blocks on episode one is really going to speed up the process of starting EMC like right now. It's gonna be great. We need because uh, each if we start with like just a very like like simple 16 EMC a second machine we need eight diamond blocks for it, which is fine I am completely okay and ready to do that because of what we had before. Put the coal in here. Oh, that's not how that is in normal Minecraft. Uh, I need redstone. Do I have redstone? I do have redstone. Remember, I brought redstone blocks with me from the home to the me. I'm a genius. The thing we actually have the least amount of is iron. Fun fact, iron is also EMCable, so that will be completely fine. As soon as we can just unlock the sun, I actually probably don't even feel that bad just AFKing here. Like, like, like that's probably, it's probably fine. If I just AFK'd for a bit and uh, generated a shit ton of gear, I probably won't do it too much too early because I mean, we still need to, to upgrade, we're going to need like this thing running for forever uh, to make it better and to get more EMC. And then that will help us get other stuff later. And there is a frog and he is bouncing. Okay, so we have all of that. Let's put, there's our stone. Uh, I need a chest and boop, boop, boop. Boo, boop. There we go. And I like that it, I like that it at least fills in what the, what the fuck, what the recipe should look like, but it's annoying that it doesn't make it for you because that's just so much more convenient. Regardless though, this is an alchemical chest and it is going to make sun, I think. I'm just gonna put it like outside here. I think that's fine. And this is going, this is useless right now. Wait, 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 it's still useless. Hold on, don't, wait, don't listen to me. Wait, alchemical chest is dumb. Don't do an alchemical chest. Uh, from the alchemical chest, we need to turn it into this thing, which means I need four obsidian. Luckily, we also got obsidian. Literally cheesing the fucking dragon uh, structure, the, the fucking queen's like space is the key to me just getting such a good head start at this fucking game. All right, this is an energy condenser. Condense the world, here we go. All right, we're gonna put that there. It is going to generate jack diddly shit, but it is going to be our catalyst for holding the jack diddly shit that it needs to generate. Now we need to make antimatter relays. These are basically, from what I've gathered, pipes. Oh, we can only make one. We're gonna need a lot more obsidian. I wonder how easy it would be for me to get back. Yeah, I can literally only make one. That's fine. Wait a minute. Obsidian is EMC. We'll just wait to duplicate EMC. We'll just, it'll be fucking great. Project E to the rescue, baby. It, we're about to get insane. You guys ready? You guys ready for this shit? I need sand. I don't have any sand. 
Hold on. Man, I'm so excited. I hope you guys love this series as much as I do. Like I said, after this video, I will uh, have been able to see what your guys' thoughts on it were. Um, and I, I really hope you join me throughout the whole journey of just kicking this game's ass because, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to die a lot, to fight a lot of crazy things. It's just, it feels... It feels like really good to play something completely new because I, like I said, I don't know anything about this. So to me, this is completely new. So this thing, antimatter relay mark one, maximum output rate is 64 EMC a second. Um, but we don't even have a way to do any anything like that. So this is now a relay and it's gonna do jack diddly shit. <laughs> See a pattern here? We need to do this now. We need to make the energy collector. Fun fact, the energy collector collects the energy. It's not rocket science, okay? So we're gonna make one of these and we need glowstone. Uh, no, don't place that down, I need you. Uh, this, and that's why I got all this glowstone, which in hindsight, I really didn't need to get more than just the bare minimum and then wait, because that's how EMC works. If you have a little bit of it, if you have one of the item, you could duplicate it for eternity. Um, it just requires energy from the sun. So this is the power of the sun. We're going to place it here. And that should be generating, I think. I mean, it's slow as all dicks, but... I think it's generating anything that we need. Yeah, it's generating energy and then you just take something in there that you want to duplicate. And like, for example, this is 1500 EMC. Once this number gets to 1500, it will duplicate. We can continue. Uh, but I kind of want to make that go a little bit faster as it's slow as dicks. So let's make just tons of these. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I need more furnaces. Don't worry about that. It's not important. Glass. Diamonds, boop, boop, come on, there we go. And then all these relays, 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 what the fuck, what the hell? Inner homage came out. All these inner relays uh, will literally just connect to other spots of this thing. And yeah, we're producing much faster now. This is gonna make, we're gonna dupe our first piece of glowstone in a matter of minutes. <laughs> Look, it's humble beginnings, but this is going to be the start to something huge. Eventually, when we get uh, the Mark II collector, we can use, which we need a lot of dark matter, Eternius fuel or whatever to make that, which takes alchemical coal from coal, all of that jazz. Once we get all that, we'll be able to make this even faster with Mark II upgrades and then Mark III upgrades, and it'll eventually be so damn fast that we should probably make the gem gear which is made from a Klein star and it's made from, there, there's, there's a lot to this. This isn't like, this isn't as bad as all the mods nine, but there is still a little bit of work here, which kind of makes me feel pretty okay about being, you know, gifted the gravity gun, especially because it does fling them. It does. Oh, yup. I'm in heaven. It's so cool. It's so fucking cool. Oh my God. Oh, he's, he's, he's just left. Dead. Oh, he's not dead. Nope. Come on. Whee! I'm not even pressing the fling button, by the way. I'm just timing that very well. This is the fling button. It's fucking great. I love it. I love it so much. Did we dupe? What we duped one piece of glowstone, baby. And the caveat about this is that it's sun-based, so it only works at daytime. We're not going to get much at night. Um. So, yeah. While it's nighttime... What we're gonna do is we're going to do, do, do uranium fever. Uh, where is it? Well, it's nighttime. I want to make this thing, the transmutation table. I do have enough obsidian for just that, I think. Yes, I do. I have just enough obsidian. We have glowstone, we have redstone, and we have a diamond. So I should be able, we just, ah, uh, dude, remember, in later Minecraft where you can just turn that into dust and you don't have to literally fucking break it. Uh, we should be able to make the Philosopher's Stone and then turn the stone into the transmutation table. This is where shit's about to get saucy. Uh, I think I can just make this. Let's see. Boop. Boop. 
And yup, transmutation table. This is essentially our crafting table. You throw something in there and it will put EMC into the machine. I put three diamonds in, so 24,000 EMC came out. I can then put stuff that's different, you know, not as much EMC, like this is just one, and then take out as much as I want for the cost of EMC. So, for example, these golden apples, if we shove them in here, we're already at a million EMC. Or this helicopter, or anything that has EMC under it. Everything from ore spawn won't, because that would be just too easy. Uh, the gravity gun does, so I could, you know, make another gravity gun if I want. And we're just gonna learn all of this into our EMC little machine here. And we're already at 5 million EMC. What we're generating outside, we can then put into the table and then add that to our list too. Or we could literally start like maybe a golden apple farm. Uh, cause that's a quick way to get EMC. That's a pretty fast way. And then if I have found the item once, I should be able to duplicate it for forever. For example, obsidian. We fixed our obsidian problem quite, quite efficiently. This is, this is what I really like about Crazy Craft specifically, because I mean, it's crazy enough that it doesn't really matter that, yeah, you're doing this, but of course they kind of expect you to play Project E like this. I mean, to be fair, I should have had to mine diamonds for a while to, to get enough blocks to start EMC, and I should have been slower, but I do what I want, so fuck you. Maybe just a little fuck you. Uh, not every item can go into this table, though. Some items from mods like Food Plus, like I said, or Spawn, apparently Welcome to the Jungle, they, they don't take too kindly to this stuff. So we'll just put that in a chest. But everything that can be EMC'd should be. Everything that can be should definitely be EMC. So that's what I'm going to do, and honestly, probably where I'm going to leave this episode. You know? I really don't think I've got too much left to really like say or do for this part. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on what I should do next besides, I guess, trying to learn how to uh, how to do Orspawn. How to do Orspawn, maybe a little bit of the Fallout Equestria mod because I'm me. Um, how much EMC do you? A lot, of, a lot of the stuff we have cannot be EMC'd, which is tragic, but you know, that's it's not the end of the world. I have one long fall boot, which makes me mad because I need two for it to be like super useful. Oh my god, can we just EMC Eyes of Ender? I could just go to the end now. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Where did I even get an Eye of Ender? Oh yeah, Lucky Block. I remember. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is, this is, this is a little broken, but it's fine. I think that's fine. Nothing, nothing wrong with a little bit of cheese. Uh, I think one uh, or one or two of these needs, yeah. You're all in there. This is this is a much faster paced mod pack anyway. Things are really strong. Things explode all the time. Like, I, I, whatever, you know, who cares? So we'll throw everything in here. So if I ever need to make something, I just can. And uh, I like that we are what? Already like a uh, third of the way to the big Bertha handle. Let's just keep all the items needed for the hand. Big Bertha handle needs a mantis claw, uh, a big hammer. Don't know where that would be. Don't know where that would be at all. Uh, how about, what What else? Like, there's two other parts to Bertha, which is the sword that does 500 damage, by the way. Um, the guard needs Jumpy Bug, Basilisk, Emperor Scorpion, a Nightmare, a Moth, uh, a Molamede, and a Sea Monster. Probably said that wrong. The ultimate sword needs to be made first, meaning we need uranium, which not the uranium I found, but or spawn uranium because fuck me, I guess. Uh, and yeah, other than that, imagine if you could just duplicate the queen. Uh, yeah, six million EMC is what we wrapped up at. That's pretty damn cool. And now our organization is pretty much complete. We are, everything is nice and all in one place because it has to be. Um, look at that. We've made four glowstone and, uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. I think what I might want to do is let it make golden apples. Golden apples cost a lot more, but if I just left it like open, it would definitely produce some golden apples just over the course of time. Um, 
And yeah, that's how we're gonna get started with EMC. So I think we have the groundwork laid out for uh, Crazy Craft. I mean, there's so many dungeons and things to explore and things to fight and do, but we have a house. We have ruby gear so I cannot fall apart every time I look at things. We have a transmutation table where I can get food of anything I desire when I want it. Um, and hell, I got a turret. I got a gravity gun. I got a, like, that's probably how you're supposed to get the portal gun. I was learning, uh, I was like looking through it and I couldn't find a way to craft the portal gun. Maybe you don't, maybe you just like get gifted it by playing the game more. It's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, well, come back here next Monday or this Monday, I guess, technically when this is going up, because I got another one for you. But for now, my name has been Eclipse again. Thank you all so much for watching. And I mean, come on, guys. Like, really? Like, really? Fucking Jesus Christ. Go fuck yourself.